Well, Tom, the mayor of Keene told us that he thinks a lot will depend on what people say here tonight and the extent to which the city and the college believe they can change student behavior. This is not how city officials want Pumpkin Fest weekend to go out, but the popular seasonal gathering in Keene may not come back next year if the threat of riots cannot be dealt with. Either we've got to be able to control the students, or we've got to, or we can't go forward with with the Pumpkin Fest. Keene State will host a public forum tonight, a community discussion about whether Pumpkin Fest can survive in a college town with an increasingly rowdy reputation. While Keene State has just 5,000 students, they make up 20% of the city's population. And when even a few of them decide to throw enormous parties that draw many thousands more during what is supposed to be a family friendly festival, Mayor Kendall Lane says it creates an untenable situation. Keeping them separate is very, very difficult. One of those events can't happen. You know, we, we, we simply can't have both events going on in, in Keene at the same time. Keene State says it has disciplined 170 students with sanctions ranging from college probation to expulsion. Mayor Lane tells News 9 if Pumpkin Fest comes back, the relationship between the school and the city needs work. We really are at a point right now where we need to build on, on the foundation to try to make sure that these types of events don't happen in the future. And it's not just Pumpkin Fest. The mayor told us there were riots here in 2013 when the Red Sox won the World Series. And he and others tell us they're concerned that with the Patriots' success this season, that there might be the possibility of riots potentially after the Super Bowl in February. Reporting live in Keene, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.